Hi everyone, welcome back to the Tarak channel. So today we're going to take a closer look at this LTD H401 CTM. Uh, maybe you have never heard about this model. Uh, it was made in only 100 units and only for the French market. Uh, this guitar is a guitar I have bought on the used market. So it was built, as you can see, back in 2014. Uh, I've been lucky enough to find it in really very, very good conditions. The marks you see here are some marks I have made myself while playing. When I bought it, uh, it was just perfect. Uh, the only thing I had to, to clean was the frets that were uh, very dark. Uh, apart from that, the guitar is in really mint condition and it has been played quite a lot. But okay, 400 euros, uh, when you take a look at the price, of the LTD 400 series, uh, well, you see it's pretty much 800 euros. Uh, this one was very interesting for me because I wanted a set of uh, Simbo Denkin GB59 and these are the pickups you can find on this guitar. So for the rest, mahogany body, mahogany neck, maple top, uh, rosewood fingerboard, 24 extra jumbo frets, graphite neck, even though it's not a graph tech, well, I think it's not a graph tech. Um, Classic LTD tuners, but according to my fire, LTD tuners are made by Goto, so very good quality hardware. Uh, the only thing, uh, as you can see, uh, the painting for the hardware is supposed to be Cosmo Black, but on the bridge and on the pots, uh, the Cosmo Black color has faded away, but no matter, because I've already bought a Goto bridge and some goto pots to replace the current ones okay so that was the introduction of this guitar now it's time to listen to how it sounds here we go
Okay, so what you've just heard is this LTD H41 CTM, uh, only 100 units for the French market. Uh, I'm going to talk to you about what you couldn't see here, so the demo, of course. But just before we go there, I would like to ask you to subscribe to this channel if it's not already done. Leave thumbs up, share my videos on social networks pretty much everywhere you can. And if you order anything new from my partner demand, please use my partner link. It's going to be in the description down below. When you click my link, you're on the French page of Thoman, so you just have to click upright to choose your own language. And if you want to make sure you're on my page, you can click on my list of highly recommended gear with my banner, my logo and pretty much everything. And then you will see uh, what I highly recommend you to use as a gear. Okay, now let's go back to this guitar, the pros, the counts. Um, I'm going to make it a bit different as usual because I have found only one downside on this guitar, even though it's not a real downside for me, but the pickups SH4, SH1 cannot be split on this guitar, but really I don't mind. Okay, for the rest, uh, the guitar is light, 3.1 kilograms, uh, amazing tuning stability. For one entire week while I was playing it, while I was preparing the track you've just heard, uh, I was checking, of course, the tuning, and it hasn't moved from uh, the, the E-flat standard tuning. Really, nothing has moved. I couldn't have hoped something better if I had a never tuned bridge, you know. Amazing from this point. Another thing that I have really loved is the playability of the guitar, of course, because light, nice belly cut, and an access to the 24 frets, you know, I'm really uh, taking a lot of attention to the to this point and really super easy access to the 24th fret but really what makes me love this guitar is the shape of this satin neck and i do insist on the fact that it's because of the satin neck i've got other ltds at home especially i would talk about my ec56 are uh, pretty much on all the ltd guitars you will encounter uh, the shape of the neck is the same, but if the, the neck is glossy, like on my LTD AC256, uh, the neck feels a bit thicker, especially here on the shoulders, you know. Um, and on this one, it's a tiny bit thinner, and really, I think it's the most comfortable neck of all my guitars, of all the guitars I do possess currently. Uh, really amazing how fast, how comfortable, how easy it feels. Uh, it feels even better for me than my Schecters and uh, you know how much I love my Schecters. Really, this guitar for 400 euros, amazing bargain. Okay, and now we're gonna talk about how it sounds and we're gonna analyze the sound of the pickups. Uh, let's start with the bridge pickup and let's listen to it. Okay, I love the way this pickup sounds for chugs, for leads, of course for cleans, that's not what you're doing with a bridge pickup in general, but really great, great pickup. And I don't think uh, I would use the split function if I had one on the bridge, but really bite, aggression, great knot definition, neither too flat nor too thin, super well balanced, great, great pickup for metal. Now let's go to the SH1, also known as the 59. Okay, um, a bit bright, but not too much for cleans. 
Uh, for leads, of course, the brightness makes it uh, pass through the mixer very easily. Another great pickup, good combination of these two, as you will hear right now. And yes, these two pickups together are sounding very well, especially in clean. Even though uh, for chugs, they're not bad at all because they bring a little more fat, a little more darkness, but not too much. And really, the, the definition remains very good. In general, when you chug on the neck or on the middle position, it sounds really too dark and uh, a bit muddy, but not on these ones. So very good quality pickups. Uh, since uh, it's a bit bright, I think if I had split function, I would not choose it because it would become too bright for my taste. Uh, as such, very nice, very well balanced. Maybe I wish it was a bit darker, maybe I wish I had uh, this pickup with a metal cover and maybe I'm gonna try it because with a metal cover you have a little bit more low end and a little bit less high end and I think it could shoot me uh, very well as well but as such, really very very good pickups. I was about to buy this pickup separately and put them in my LTD C256 when I found this one on the used market. Uh, I decided to buy it and really, not only do I have the pickups I wanted, not only do they sound as good as I thought they would, but I also have a super nice guitar, a super great player for just 400 euros. And yeah, really, if you're not used to going to the used market for buying your axes and pretty much your gear, I really recommend you should give it a try because I've already bought something like six or seven guitars on the used market. I have never been disappointed. And sometimes I have amazing surprises like this one or like uh, my Schecter uh, C1 Exotic Star, which was also a great surprise when I bought it. Okay, uh, I think I've said it all about this good, 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 good guitar. Uh, really, the neck, fantastic. It's very close to becoming my go-to guitar now. Right, uh, well, thanks for watching this video and see you next time.